Boxing was back as WBO super bantamweight champion Emmanuel El Vaquero Navarrete took on Uriel Lopez. No title was on the line as this was a 10-round featherweight belt. There we look at the ring being disinfected and the champ making his way in to the studios. A look at the ring as well as the production from the TV Azteca Studios in Mexico City. The ladies were in action as flyweight Jessica Neri Plata with a record of 26 to three knockouts, one and eight round decision over Edith Pantera Flores. This was prior to the telecast. Then you had Mexico City flyweight prospect Ivan Armando Garcia, 6-0 with three knockouts, winning a unanimous decision over Roberto Palo Mares in opening the ESPN telecast. This was a pretty tough fight for the young prospect as Palo Mares gave him the work that he needed. Prospects will need to see these types of styles and all kinds of styles on their way up to prove themselves to see what kind of competition they'll have at the next level. I'm sure we'll see more of Garcia on more Zanfer cards. What a knockout it was as featherweight prospect Sergio Chirino Sanchez knocked out Gustavo Allen Piña in the third. A brutal left hook is what did it. There you have the left hook. And there's the knockout. What a victory. What an impressive knockout. You can say knockout of the year so far. Featherweight Edwin Pupo Palomares scored a fifth round knockout over Carlos Chinito Ornelas. Palomares, 13 and 3, with one draw and four knockouts, was taking on 25 and 2 at the time, but now 25 and 3 with 14 knockouts. Ornelas. Ornelas was pretty skilled early on. Flashy. However, Palomares' aggression was just too much, as you see the pink-haired fighter on the offensive. A crunching body shot is what did it as Ornelas took a knee, quickly got up, but then took a knee once again as his corner stopped the fight. A good win for Palomares. Then in the main event, you had Emmanuel Navarrete going out there, slow starter, just relaxed, very poised, working the jab. However, things started to pick up for Navarrete in the fifth round as he just began to unload the combinations, ripping to the body. Lopez was down twice and then done in the sixth. As the body shots paid off, bout was waived at 222 of the sixth. Navarrete now looking for a possible showdown against former WBO bantamweight champion Jesse Magdaleno, who was victorious last week.